Former Eastern Regional Chairman of the National Democratic Congress, NDC, John Ousua Mankra, popularly known as Juwak, immediately after the party's regional congress, through his lawyers, filed an application to inject the newly elected executives. In addition to the lawsuit, he filed an application for an injunction asking the court to order the duly elected regional executives from holding themselves as the executives of the party in the region and also for the court to direct for a fresh elections to be held. This application essentially was going to incapacitate or stop the executives and the party from undertaking any activity in the region until the court had decided the case. Jowak, in his case, indicated that he is the only person who has the power under the NDC constitution to organize the conference. The presiding judge, Justice William Osekufo, after earlier considering the submissions by both lawyers and carefully examined documents brought by both parties, dismissed the application, indicating that the reliefs lacks merit based on Article 18.2 of the party's constitution. Counsel for the Defense and the Chairman of the Eastern Regional NDC Legal Team, Isaac Mintalabi, spoke to the media after the judgment. The court said that the entire application is not warranted, and so he has dismissed it. So at this stage, um, the case will have to die a natural death. And then, you know, we are one family. Normally, in matters like this, we even take cost, but we didn't ask for cost because we are one family. We may have to take steps to, you know, amend our wounds, you know, so we can go and fight our common enemy at this stage. To the duly elected regional executives of the Eastern Region. The Eastern Regional Affairs Vice Chairman of the party, Ransford Osei and the Deputy Regional Treasurer, Obebini Lati, who welcomed the judgment, describing it as a relief, called on the aggrieved parties to come on board. We are all NDC members, and this win or this uh, ruling, it's a win for all of us as a party, not necessarily the current executives. For all of us, it will allow the party in the region to operate uh, successfully. Tomorrow, there will be a meeting. Thursday, there will be a meeting of the constituencies in preparation towards the Saturday, uh, Saturday's election. So we are happy. We are happy that at least there is still confidence in the courts. Former Attorney General of Ghana, Mareta Briu Apiaopon, who represented the national body of the party, in court on Tuesday while admonishing all party members to use the party's internal conflict resolution mechanisms, called on both parties to unite and focus on the main goal to win the 2024 general elections. As that, as much as possible, use the internal mechanisms to try and resolve your issues. We are not saying that nobody has a right to go to court. Everybody has a right under the 1992 constitution to take a matter to court. But we have, as a family, we have internal mechanisms. So let's try and use those mechanisms to resolve our issues. Today's judgment by the court has been a welcoming news for the Eastern Regional Executives of the National Democratic Congress. They are happy about today's judgment and are hoping to unite for the greater good of the party and for the upcoming general elections. For City News, Neil Ni Amati Kanaku, Koforidia High Court.